Hey guys, you might have seen this device on my channel. This is my Xiaomi Note 4 and I have reviewed this device maybe a few weeks ago and I did say that I'm going to install custom ROM on this device. So officially this device runs on Android 7 on top of Mi UI 11 and as you know Android 7 is not really that much usable and also Mi UI 11 is pretty bulky. So in that case the only way you can get usable performance from this device is installing a custom ROM. So here I have installed Pixel Experience custom ROM based on Android 13 although you can get Android 14 or 15 based ROM for this device but I'm trying to find a ROM which is stable enough to run on this device. So Pixel Experience this is an official version and you can get official version of Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 14 but that is a better version. So Android 13 as you can see here and the security patch level is from 2023 but that doesn't matter actually. So as Android 13 based ROM you are getting full screen gesture you can use soft buttons here if you want and I did disable all the animation here with animation it is pretty laggy you can't really use if you turn on the animation pretty slow but without animation it provides pretty decent performance actually pretty much usable so in terms of network connectivity my sim card is there Bo LTE Bo Wi-Fi working perfectly fine no issue and Wi-Fi Bluetooth and everything working there is no issue with them as a stock ROM, you are not getting any kind of customization option here. But there are few options you are getting on this ROM. First of all, if we check display section, so we are getting adaptive brightness that is working. Dark mode is available if you want that night mode, tap to OI work. And also, there are few things here like display color calibration. So there it is available if you want that, you, you can use that. And torch setting, so as you know, Redmi Note 4 actually got dual tone flash like one is orange color and one is white color so sometime when you take pictures at night it provides very orange photo so in that case you can access the torchlight calibration here so if you don't want yellow one you can turn it off so as you can see here I have turned off and so now if I turn on the torch as you can see here the only white light is working but if I turn on the yellow one turn on as you can see here it looks oranges so you can calibrate up to your need so that is pretty useful feature for this device so these are few settings in the display section and the wallpaper and style section we don't really have any kind of ai wallpaper or anything like that but the built-in wallpapers are good as you can see here we do have emoji workshop that is available and the security section we do have both finger pin and face unlock and both of them works pretty well so first of all let's try finger pin unlock so as you can see you are pretty fast but the face unlock is a little bit slower side so if i try face unlock as you can see here so both of them works there is no issue with finger pin and face unlock beside that there is nothing much in the system setting as you can see we are getting few features like gesture and buttons so in the buttons i have already disabled the navigation buttons you can turn on on screen navigation button or gesture is up to you so those things are available and there is nothing much and that's all in the setting panel the battery backup is pretty good actually pretty decent i haven't faced any kind of issue adaptive performance is there and nothing much actually and in terms of application i did install few application here just to try out and this ROM did come with a camera application as you can see here. The camera application works perfectly fine. I haven't faced any kind of issue with the camera application. It works. You can record video. So as you can see here, everything is working. So the camera application is usable. There is no issue with that. And we can turn on the flash too. As you can see here, the flash is working. Beside that, we are also getting Google Photos Unlimited Storage. If I check here, so as you can see here, account storage is unlimited so if you need google photos unlimited storage you can check out this rom and this rom also coming with safety net feature so you can install bank application on this rom and they might work actually so if i check safety net or google play protect certification so as you can see here device is certified so most of the application going to work without any kind of issue and i did install few application here just to try out like whatsapp and youtube works no issue with that so basically you can do basic things without any kind of issue everything is working as you can see pretty smooth actually no issue with that 
in terms of calling i did try actually calling with this device as you can see here volt is working hd and you can record your call so i did record calls here as you can see here recorded and i can play that if you record call with this rom it's not going to notify your partner about you recording the call so that is good for someone but i don't really record calls but one strange thing is that you are not getting any setting for volt or Bo wi-fi option but Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi does work perfectly fine. No issue with that. In terms of overall UI, it is working perfectly fine. No issue with that. But as I said, it is based on Android 13 and the device got only 3 gig of RAM. So it's a little bit heavy for this device. But still, you are getting pretty much usable performance out of this ROM. In terms of gaming, also it is doing pretty well. Actually, it's much better than the stock ROM. And I did play Call of Duty on this ROM and got pretty much playable experience obviously it's not going to handle it well but i would say better than the stock rom and obviously this device is not ready for any kind of online gaming right now but still if anyone wants to try gaming on this device you can try uh, besides that actually offline games does work perfectly fine that's all about this rom i will definitely try out few roms for this device later on so the rom link will be in the description below if anyone wants to try so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one
spotted. Grenade. Oh, Lost the lead. 